Welcome back to Osaka, Japan. In our lovely little cheap hotel room with Simon. Nice room we've got here, isn't it? It certainly is. I can't say I'm much careful sleeping on a mat, but we'll see how that works out in the coming days. And you can actually keep on talking to him and he'll give you different replies. Which is pretty cool. Hanging in there, Simon? Yeah, man, I'm doing fine. Are you? I guess so. As always, I'll be better when we've solved this case. I hear you on that one. So, done anything interesting lately? No, mostly uh, just been researching investigation techniques since we finished up back in London. Hopefully that research will come in handy soon. I guess we'll find out eventually. And now it repeats. So let's get down to asking him things. Got a minute? Sure, what's up? What exactly did you say the laptop was for? Internet access, mainly. I don't know if I mentioned it back in London, but I'm pretty good with computers. I can access information rather easily if the need arises. You mean you're a hacker? Come now, Ben. Hacker is such an ugly word. I prefer to think of myself as a research assistant with special privileges. Works for me. You know, come to think of it, if they're not talking very much about the murders in Japan, I'm wondering if his hacking skills is what made him discover this in the first place. <clears throat> anyway. How did you hear about these ghost murders anyway? Well, I guess he's gonna answer. By accident, actually. Truth be told, I was really looking into some place nice to travel. When I hit Japan, I did a little research and found an article mentioning the murders. So I rang you and Alice up, and here we are. Okay, well now I'm feeling rather silly, since I don't need to be explaining a lot of these things, since he reveals it anyway. Oh well. What do you know about Osaka? A girl? I've never been. Shouldn't we be more prepared when we go, when we go places? Not really. We're investigating paranormal phenomena. Not writing a tourist report. Good point. Yeah, but see, the problem is, Ben, if you don't speak their language and they don't speak yours, you might have a few issues. That's why it's good to be prepared, you guys. Oh well. So, tell me something about yourself. Like what? You already know pretty much all there is to know about me. I don't know. Got any unusual talents or hobbies or anything? Yes, I'm a ballet dancer in my spare time. It keeps me limber. Really? Of course not. Honestly, you Americans wouldn't know sarcasm if it knocked on your door and invited itself for lunch. Okay, sorry. Any word from Alice? Not since yesterday. She should be somewhere over the Pacific right now. So, what exactly is going on with you two, if you don't mind my asking? What do you mean? You can't tell me you don't have feelings for her. What? What makes you think that? Oh, come on. It was obvious when we were at number 50. I can tell these things, Ben. Alice is a very nice girl and we're friends, that's all. You're hopeless. Look, I don't want to discuss it, okay? The last thing I need right now is a relationship. Still haven't gotten over Mary, have you? That's enough. Okay, okay, sorry. That's all for now. See you later, then. Yep. Let's get out of here. So the first thing on our agenda is to go over to the Osaka Police Department, since that's what we told Simon we were going to do, and also since that's the only place we can go besides our hotel. Ooh. The poster shows mugshots of several unsavory looking characters. You hope you don't meet any of them while you're here. The desk sergeant looks like there's some place he'd rather be. Ooh, it's a plant! Potted plant adds a bit of atmosphere to the lobby, even if it is shoved in a dark corner. Hmm. <laughs> well, um, guess we'll go talking to him. 
Hopefully he'll speak English. Hello, officer. A good day to you, sir. And I am terrible with Japanese accents, so I'm not even really gonna bother. Sorry. Um, I think if you just talk to him, he says the same thing. Yeah, okay. Excuse me, officer. Could I have a minute of your time? How can I help you, young man? Um, can you tell me anything about the so-called ghost murder murders? I'm sorry. I cannot discuss police cases with anyone who is not with the... not the police. Are there really ghosts involved? As I said, I cannot discuss this with you. Please do not make me ask again. Okay, um, I'd like to speak with Inspector Yoshi, please. And who are you? My name is Ben Jordan, and I'm a private investigator, and I'm interested in speaking to him about the recent murders. Is he expecting your visit? Um, no, actually, I've never met him, but I'm sure he'd be interested in what I have to say. I doubt that. Inspector Yoshi is a very busy man. Can't you at least let him know I'm here? Maybe he's got some time to see me. I will try, but don't expect anything. Inspector Yoshi says he has never heard of you. He is very busy, and unless you have some kind of official business or are working with a member of law enforcement, he cannot see you. Dang it. Ah. I see there is a hint wrapped up in that. Hmm. Can you tell me anything about Osaka? Yes, I can tell you to be careful in the streets. Osaka is seeing much higher rate of crime than before. Be careful when you wander alone at night. Thanks for the warning. Tell me about yourself. Me? There is not much to say. My name is Shiokuro Osaka, and I am the desk sergeant. I study English at school, which helped me get this job, since people from all over come in this precinct. And in my free time, I enjoy baseball and karaoke. Is that enough information for you? Sure, that's peachy. That's all for now. Goodbye. Hmm. Maybe we could sneak in. Excuse me, sir! I'm afraid civilians are not allowed through that door without proper authorization. Oh, sorry about that. Well, he said that we couldn't get anywhere unless we were with the police. Maybe he would. Maybe we could do some name dropping. Because we have this card from. Hmm. You decide to see if a little name dropping will get you to see the inspector. Excuse me, sir, but I think Inspector Yoshi might be interested to know that I'm working with Professor uh, Professor Percival Quentin Jones, PhD. Who? Here, I've got his card. Could you show it to him? Let me see that. We hand the business card over to the desk sergeant. Wait right here. I'll show Inspector Yoshi. I love the way he walks sideways. He's like a crab. Inspector Yoshi says he will see you now. You may go through the door over there. His office is the second door on your right. Thank you, officer. Yes! We got in! Thank you! Professor Quentin Jones, you are useful after all. Oh, okay. Let's see. The plaque on the wall is thankfully written in both Japanese and English. It says, Evidence Lockup and Crime Lab. That sounds cool. The sign above the door reads, Hamato Yoshi. And what's this? What a strange poster. Small counter is against the wall under the bulletin board. This note is either written in Japanese or chicken scratch. Either way, you can't make out what it says. Oops. The note is written out in both English and Japanese and is signed by Professor uh, Professor Yoshi, or Inspector Yoshi. Sorry. It says, "Attention, officers. Please stop leaving your radios on the counter. It makes it very easy for anyone to just take one without proper documentation." 
The note says, Officer Sadako's surprise party is in one week. Be sure to keep it a secret. Well, good job, people, keeping it a secret by putting a note on the bulletin board. Anyway, note is written in Japanese, and it looks like we're about out of time, so we'll have to continue trying to get to Professor Yoshi and maybe in the crime lab in the next video. So, see you then!